Hi, in this recording, we are given a linear transformation T from R3 to R3. In the first part, we find the metric representation A of T with respect to standard basis in domain and co domain. Now, I will try to answer the second part. Find the basis for the column space of A and the noun space of A. To do this, let's look at what we have done for part A. In part A, we will find the metric for the linear transformation is 2, 3, minus 1, 5, 1, 4, and 1, 1, 0. Now to find the basis for the column space of A, remember, the column space of A is a subspace spanned by the column of A, which means that it is a span of 2, 5, 1, 3, 1, 1, minus 1, 4, 0. What we are going to do is find any relation among these three vectors. I'll write down the column 2, 5, 1, 3, 1, 1, minus 1, 4, 0. Now to do a row operation, I need a leading one in the first row. So I'm going to do the interchange. So I'm going to interchange the first row and the third row so that I have a leading one in the first row. And then I want to create zero below leading one. So I can multiply first row by minus five, add to the second row, so that I get one, one, zero, zero, minus five plus one is minus four, and then four, and then I take minus two down the first row, add to the third row, so that I get zero, 1, minus 1. Okay, then I can interchange the second row and the third row. So I interchange second row and third row. I'll get 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, minus 4, 4. And then I'm going to take the second row times minus 1, add to the first row, I will get 1, 0, 1, and I take the second row times 4, add to the third row, I get 0, 0, 0. So this is the row reduced form. From this row reduced form, we can find the relation between the column. That means the third column is actually the first column minus the second column. Column 3 is equal to column 1 minus column 2. This tells you the relation between the columns of A. Therefore, A is actually the span of these three columns. Column 1 is 2, 5, 1. So column 2 is 3, 1, 1. Column 3 is minus 1, 4, 0. We find that column 3 is actually column 1 minus column 2. So we don't need column 3 now. We just need column 1 and 2. As column 3 is column 1 minus column 2. So column space of A is the span of these two vector. So these two vector will form a basis, right? A basis for column space of A is the set consists of 2, 5, 1 and 3, 1, 1. Now let's continue to find the noun space of A. Remember the noun space of A it's all the x, y, z now, such that a times x, y, z is equal to 0, 0, 0. Now, using the row operation, 2, 5, 1, 3, 1, 1, minus 1, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, we can arrive that this is equivalent to 1, 0, 1, 0. 
0, 1, minus 1, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 0. Where this, this reduced bond come from? It actually come from the earlier calculation. This metric again with another column 0, 0, 0. The relation between x, y, z now. This will tell us that first equation tells us x plus z equals 0. Second equation tells us y minus z equals 0. So if x, y, z belong to the noun space of A, x, y, z, where x equal to minus z now, based on this working, x equal to minus z, y equal to z. So I can know that y z, z is z here, which is equal to z times minus 1, 1, 1. So every vector in the null space of A is a span of minus 1, 1, 1. So null space of A is actually a span of minus 1, 1, 1. So the basis a basis for the null space of A is a set consists of minus 1, 1, 1. Now I'm going to call up my calculator to show you how to do the row reduce form. Okay, I'm going to use menu, run. Now I press F1 for metric. I want to enter the metric A with 3 by 3. So I'm going to say execute 3 by 3. Execute here. 3 minus 1, 5, 1, 4, 1, 1, 0. Then I'm going to do some row operation. The first operation is interchange the first row and the third row. So I press F1, row operation, then swap F1, interchange first row and third row. Now I want to press F3, okay, minus 5 times the first row, then add to the second row. Execute. Then continue F3. Minus 2 down the first row, add to the third row. So minus 2 times the first row, add to the third row. Execute. Now I want to interchange the second row and the third, third row. So I press F1 swap here, second row and third row, interchange. And then I want to take the second row times minus 1 add to the first row. So F3 minus 1 times the second row add to the first row. And finally, I want to take the second row times 4 add to the third row. F3 4 times the second row add to the third row. And you'll find this is the row reduced form. That's the end of the recording.